Hello, 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 and welcome back to Chilean Retro Gamer Live. Another test stream. Even though this is less of a test than last time, obviously, because I already tested settings, and it was a pretty successful stream, all things considered. Um, however, I still consider this a test. I'm going to start the game, by the way. Only 16%? It feels like I've done more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna replay this one world because I know that I can get all the cages right away. Which is something I'm gonna go... ...do. I actually replayed this before ending the stream last time and... I still couldn't get it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm still testing a few things. For example, today I actually increased the quality, the video quality, some more. From 3000 yeah. kilobytes per second to 4500. In theory, it shouldn't represent any sort of problem for my connection. But I want to see if YouTube can handle it, you guys can handle it, well... Worst case scenario, you can decrease the quality, even though I'm pretty sure all of you guys have way better internet connections than I've ever had, so... When I tried to, like, make them high quality back in 16, 2016, there I got a little bit of criticism by a couple of people, even from the United States, where in theory the quality of the internet or the connections should be like dramatically better than in here but yeah they they still had like plenty of problems trying to watch a stream without having to you know loading times and stuff like that but by now 2020 that shouldn't be a problem anymore besides on YouTube you can decrease the quality I think yeah this is the level where the, the last cage was. Okay, this place, yeah, I fucked up, didn't I? No, I still can do it again. Yeah, this is where. This is where the last cage is. I don't know why it took me so long to do it the last time. Anyway, that took me literally a couple minutes. It saves my progress, so no problem in that regard. Yeah, I got all the goodies. So now we can go finish. Well, I still have a couple of more worlds to go in Bandland. All right, I want to do. I want to run a little. Another test. A quickie. Yeah, I actually changed the um, USB cable for my microphone, so I have, in theory, a better quality cable and a longer one too, so I don't have to get my laptop so close to me on the border of the bed. So there shouldn't be any risk of that shit falling. Let's continue. Sorry for those delays again when I try to fuck around with some settings. Okay, it feels like I already missed something. Yeah, that is an actual platform. All of that just to get some speed in my fist. I can always replay these anyway. Not that it matters too much. Okay, here we have something. Yep, yeah, a cage. Alright, hold on, guys.
Alright. Another test. Yeah, the sound is good. Fortunately, I cannot ask anybody because maybe they will have somebody watching right now. Probably that person doesn't want to talk in chat. Oh, I already got the coin. That was quick. Hey, Michael. How's it going? Welcome back. To Rayman Redemption. Like I was saying at the beginning, I increased the quality of the video, the live feed, a little bit more. So if last time you looked good, now it should be looking much better. And if this one test goes well, okay, how can I get up there? So yeah, if this one test goes well, this will be the quality that I will be using for my streams regularly. Okay, there is a way to get up there, or maybe... Ah, oh, see? You spawn something else. Okay, something else appeared. Another claw and a bunch of things. Yep, yeah, this is for another cage. So, today's objective, I will be streaming, as you know, for two hours, two hours and a half, or something like that. Um, I will be... Alright, <laughs> more spawning things. The magic of Rayman, that's what Rayman is all about. Spawning things that you left behind. Or that makes you come back in order to get secrets and goodies. So yeah, the, object the objective sorry, for today would be uh, to complete all of the worlds from the band land, the music area. Okay, half of the cages already. So, is this one of those worlds that has a single level? Or was it the next world? No, I think the next world was the one. It was a very long level that had all the cages in it. So yeah, I want to complete the band land and also make make sorry as much progress as we can. Wow, that was super close. Uh, in the mountains area. I could finish it because I remember last time I streamed, I mean not last time, but the, the second and last time I streamed this on Twitch, in which I did two streams to, to this particular game. Um, I started Bandland and pretty much three hours later I was finishing the whole mountains area. Well, not not all of it, but a few worlds, a couple of worlds of it. Yeah! Okay. I think that's death. Mr. Dark's reign is disturbing the peace of Gong Heights. I know you will defeat him, Rayman, so I'm going to help in your quest. Grab these rings with your fist, and they will send you flying. One of the new mechanics to this game. Oh yeah, this thing. It was actually a challenge that you can buy with your, your coins that... was pretty challenging because it took me a good five minutes to figure out the controls, the momentum controls. Hey, Black Death. Likewise, hope you're doing okay. Long time you no see. How are you doing? Are you safe? Yourself as well? I'm doing okay myself. Staying home for the most part, except when I woke my... my dog. Other than that, I stay home all the time. Home office, working from home, and doing nothing else. I mean, other than, of course, do internet stuff, but... We're doing okay. Alright, how do I get that... I mean, clearly you have to go down some way. Yep. Just like that. I was starting to overthink it. There was no need to.
actually it would seem better if I do it from the other side so I can do this. I'm still gonna get hit sometimes. But as long as I survive... All of that just for extra health. Oh yeah, I should uh, check out um, Batilla the Fairy after I'm done with this world and see... I don't think I already got 80... Cages. Yeah, an essential worker. Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. Whoa. No. Way too risky. Well, I also work in an um, essential type of work, but it's pr all administration, so I can do it from home. All I need is internet connection, a computer. Okay, something tells me that I need to go to the other side. Yeah. That was definitely worth it. Let me take a look here. Alright, this cloud doesn't move. But yeah, all of that was for the present. Actually, it, be it has become very common that some of these presents are like beyond... Oh yeah, this fucking part. Are beyond like exits of a specific level and there is some bottomless pits that looks suspicious. And you go for it. Alright, that cage, I remember the first time I played it, this level, um, took me at, at least seven or eight deaths. This time around I did it in the second try. That was the second to last cage. Oh shit, alright, whatever. Well, it's a good chance to keep getting things. I wouldn't say for free since I'm dying, but that's the price I have to pay. Not particularly worried as in right now. Besides, as you know, this this game makes lives respawn as opposed to the original Rayman where you can only get them once. Alright, all of this is probably for the last cage. Yeah, I got them all, I got the present and the coin. So I'm pretty much done with this world. And it didn't take much of an effort. Oh yeah, we have this. Mosquito Sonata. So basically these are like mini levels, mini special levels where you ride the mosquito that you were playing with in some previous world, a uh, shoot em up sort of level, but this one is exclusively a shoot em up level in which you can get uh, a coin and obviously an exit. That's about it. Those are the only incentives. Alright, can I see like 37 cages? Yeah. And she asks for 50 or 80? I don't remember which uh, was the number that she was asking for to increase your base health in one. 50, okay. Why did I think it was 80? I think the third upgrade requires 80. The first one requires 10, so I have 4 base health. In order to have 5, you need 50. I'm not too far away from that. So yeah, let's go to Mosquito Sonata before moving on to, to the next area. If I'm not mistaken, the last one in Bandland. So all you can get here, additionally to obviously things and and the exit you are supposed to reach, is a magician uh, coin. Remember that the magician coins allow you to get uh, or unlock challenges, mini games. These mini games obviously they will become more and more expensive, so that's why you need pretty much all of the coins. 
one coin per world, basically, in order to unlock them all. Nice incentive to play some something extra, basically. I'd rather die, seriously. Kill me. I'd rather die. Yeah, at least I know where it is, so the camera won't surprise me. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in the lower part here, now, before the camera moves. Great, I already got it. It would count regardless if I survive or not. Obviously, the idea is to keep surviving. Are oh, you gonna actually hit the ice with that, not kill them? Oh yes, you actually can permanently get them blind. What about these guys? I think you can destroy them too. Not that it matters, they go away after a while, they are timed. Okay, here I gotta move fast. Some more speed. So now I can hold the button and shoot super fast. Fast fire. Rapid fire, whatever. So I don't have to tap the button. And now I increase it to the max. Makes it even easier. Even easier. And is that it? Seems like it. Okay, um, I can go play another challenge if we can. I already got a couple more. Yeah, this one. This is the one that took me a few minutes. Not as much time as this one right here. That the first time I played it, it took me like 45 minutes. So let's take a look. Again, I'm in theory more familiar with those controls. This is not a time trial. I mean, it, it appears the time down there, but it's basically to control your own records. I mean, if this were timed, this one in particular was timed. I'll be really pissed. This early part is not so bad, or, or I don't remember, I didn't remember being so bad. But I'm struggling already. Wait, I didn't punch twice. Spike's right there. Okay, what's the point of making me choose? I didn't, didn't I don't remember to be honest. I'm not gonna go, go back for those uh, things. Okay, it makes no difference, the choice you make. Yeah, this. Yeah, you. I, I remember that very clearly. Am I gonna spawn more? Alright, I'm safe. So yeah, you have to press the up arrow, since I'm playing with the keyboard in this case, but the up button your path in order to literally go straight up controls are friendlier than they look this guy kind of reminds me of an enemy of Mega Man X I'd rather kill him. But it's always the risk of getting hurt. The problem is that if I keep failing my jumps here, I'm gonna get hurt every time I, I pass by this place. So I'd rather kill him first. Yeah, it's much easier when you press up. Seriously, that it took me over five minutes to figure it out the first time. Even though I can continue to get stuck here. 
Is this where it starts to become difficult? Oh, ideally, we don't want to get hurt. Yeah, this was the uh, the part where I got stuck for uh, quite a while, but at least I'm getting to this second and third ring more consistently. Wow. Yeah, I was actually taking longer when when I was trying to get the things. All right, this. B or whatever that is. It's getting more annoying now. Hopefully it's gonna be the last enemy. Yeah, it was the very end of the stage. Thank you to the five of you watching right now. I always appreciate viewership on a live stream even if nobody talks. It's all fine. Lurking is also a way of enjoying a stream without being forced to talk. Alright, this is the last world in Bandland. And this is, yeah, a single stage world, basically, where you end up getting all the cages. I think I might not be getting them all since some of them require to unlock extra abilities or things that get available to to interact with as you progress yeah remember what the, the that cage is can actually get it later hey James how are you doing I'm doing okay can't complain at least not today. Okay, what does it mean? Oh yeah, this is uh, back to the beginning. And now I can go over there, but I want to go all the way to the right. Did it actually? Yeah, this is where the P was. Yeah, checking this out again in case I made something else appear. Most likely not, but... That's why I can keep running there. Yeah, there was nothing else. Okay, apparently Dog is misbehaving again, and my brother still didn't move. Yeah, I do need momentum here in order to reach that ledge. Not like that. Yeah, I need to take speed pretty much from here and not touch the spikes. That was close enough. There was no need to touch these three platforms. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's definitely easier than I made it look. That was only the first. Yeah, it feels like I'm not gonna be getting them all in this first try. Whoa. Okay. Extra health. That I wasn't really expecting. 
Yeah. Oh, time to become Baby Rayman. Alright, let's see where this takes me. Okay, this is mandatory Baby Rayman territory. Most likely all of this is for a cage that you already saw. I have a pretty generous amount of lives, which I always appreciate. I don't want to underestimate this game by any means. Super Mario 3. Yeah, I mean, it's a super classic. Still haven't played it in a couple of years. I always like to always get back to the all-time classics. Not play them all the time. Once a year is fine. If more time passes by, the better, because you end up enjoying more the experience. That guy is so annoying. I wanna go down there, most likely I'm gonna die, yeah, but it was worth the checking. Oh yeah, that was baby Rayman territory, I really got the cage that I had to get. So nothing to worry about. For now. I mean, eventually I will have to revisit this level. Something tells me I'm not gonna be getting all the... Um, the cages in the first try. You know... Um, I, I wouldn't say it's 50-50 because obviously I'm not a statistics expert or anything. But, you know... It's not like a... How can I say? It's not take it from granted that Super Mario 3 is the favorite to the Mario game. You know, I am also very divided in that regard, because I wouldn't say that Mario 3 is my all-time favorite Mario game. I would say that, I don't know, maybe like... 65% my favorite, and the other 35 would be... Mario World. It's really divided. It's really um, difficult to choose only one over the other. I again, I always say like Mario Three Pro is my favorite to the Mario game, but um, sixty forty or something like that. It's really close in terms of how much I like each of them. I really love Super Mario World's format, music, graphics, controls. Look at that smiley face. So how many did I get? Only three. Half of them. Oh, I think you get the other half in the next level, which is the chase. Oh, there's another level before the boss chase. But trust me, you are not alone in that opinion. I mean, a lot of people that I know, from the internet even, I mean, not necessarily real life people that I know, uh, prefer Mario World, or even Mario 1 more. Like I said, my case is really close. I almost like the two, the two of them in the same way. I mean, basically, each of those games have their unique things, you know, things that make them unique and interesting in their own way. 
little details. Alright, I'm gonna become Baby Rayman now and take a look over there. I remember, like, back in the day, there was, like, um, how can I say, actually, I never tried to... Yeah, it's a sticker album that came out, well, in the 90s, sticker albums in here were... Is that how they're called over there? But, but you know what I'm trying to say, sticker albums on, you, you know, whatever you can imagine, anime, TV shows, video games... Um, sports, you know, all, all sorts of um, sticker albums, and and I remember one called Nintendo Video Games, obviously video juegos translated, uh, Nintendo Video Games, and basically they feature like pictures of the real games from Mario 1 to Mario World and some um, drawings, cartoon pictures of the characters from Mar Super Mario Brothers. And in each of the games that they were reviewing, there were some sort of scores by obviously the, um, the creators of the album. And they basically qualify each of the games according to the level of fun, quote unquote. Oh, the present. Yeah, I forgot about the coin. Let's see if we can get it in this level. Okay, back to the beginning of the stage. Yeah, I forgot that you are safe if you actually duck in that section. But yeah, they qualified Super Mario 1 and 3 with the maximum score and Super Mario 2 and World with a lower score. Like, the level of fun is 3 out of 5 and in the case of Mario 1 and 3, 5 out of 5. Yeah, it does count as a Mario game. Kind of had a different protagonist, is a different thing, but it, it is technically Super Mario World 2. I mean, it officially is now. If they don't want to, or if you don't want to, like, put it on the same uh, in the same bag as games in which actually Mario is the protagonist and. thing I'm doing? I don't even know where I'm going. Feels like I'm making progress and oh yeah never mind. It's not just progress, it is the cage. I know in the chase scene you can get at least one cage. So if I get another one in this level we are gonna get them all and I haven't gotten the coin yet. Dude, how many punches do you take? Six. Fucking six. A life. I think I really want it. <clears throat> but first, here's the coin. Okay, it wasn't hard at all to get. So if I get one more cage in this level, I'll stop worrying about collecting them all because I know that in the boss chasing scene, which should be the next one, should be getting that remaining cage. If there aren't two of them, 
Oh yeah, let, let's go back. Probably this is for the remaining cage. And yeah, here we are. One more to go and I know where it is. So I'm gonna collect everything in this one world. Yes, I have. I actually streamed it last year for the Genesis series, or oh, sorry, the Sega series that he did on Twitch for a while. Playing only Sega consoles, games from Sega consoles. So yeah, I, I actually did two runs of that. One as Mickey, another one as Donald. Which gives you a different set of a set of levels, a different playthrough. Okay, that actually counts as damage to the boss. Well, I missed a life. So now let's do the actual boss battle. Right, eventually, I would like to get a physical copy of World Velocian. I do have um, Castle of Velocian. the same mistake again. Well. Why do I keep doing that? Like... There. Okay, I... I keep getting hit when I'm clearly ducking. Oh shit. It's probably with the jumps. Oh shit. I saw that coming. Can't get rid of the little ones. Okay, now I did better. There. Oh, there's a third hit like this? Yeah, now the troll jumps. Oh shit, I was looking away. My fault. I take all responsibility. And then he gives me two free hits. Oh yeah, first the bombs. Now this. Now more balls, but mm, they are gonna split into the little guys. Yeah. So exploding ones. Still doable. Okay. Not hard at all. Music medallion. New items unlocked in the shop. Let's take them a look. Well, likely I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I still wanna take a look at what new things they have in store. Lives is what they have plenty, still plenty of, so I don't think it's gonna be an, a need for anything. I would like to... well, these are shit ton of skins for Rayman. It's our skin for checkpoints. 
Oh, not so much more. Nothing really big and permanent, like extra base health. Well, this looks like permanent. Still kind of expensive. Alright, let's see if we can play another mini game. Wait a minute, how many? 43. Seven more cages and I can upgrade my health again. Alright, let's take a look at the challenges, see if we can play something else or we just gotta move on. This one. Rock hike. It's a time trial. Yeah, I remember this one slightly. Yeah, this is for the next theme. The mountains area. I'd rather die. You have infinite lives. Yeah, I played Lucky Dime for a retro quest like a month ago or something. Are there differences between the two versions? Or is it the same? You're talking about the... Um, the Lucky Dime Caper, right? Or you're talking about World of Illusion? Maybe I played it, but I honestly don't remember. Well, in general, I've always been kind of curious to actually know what real differences or... You know... Interesting differences between the Master System and Game Gear versions of the very same game. Because for the most part, I always assume that they are the exact same game. I mean, I know, for example, that Thrust of Rage 1 and 2 have a few differences between the boss order, the level order, or some levels appear in one version and none of the other, and vice versa. Oh, time's up! Okay, it, it's not very generous with the time, I gotta be faster than that. Even though I was pretty close. But yeah, I tried the um, Master System version. I, the, there's, there's gotta be some site on the internet that... You know, let's keep going. Let's not waste time on that guy. There's gotta be some site on the internet that... Um, helps you out, you know, with... Real differences that make you want to play the two versions separately. I'm not, I'm not assume that it's basically going to be the same thing. Yeah, I, I forgot that the trick here is jump over these guys and not interact with enemies if there is no need to. Yeah, looks like I'm going to do this one. Yeah, with even some seconds to spare. Good. Okay. So now let's get to the mountains. Officially. Blue Mountains. Twilight Gulch. Oh, what is this? The Lonely Cliff. Oh yeah, I forgot that... Apparently, they, well, there are new worlds, as you know. It's not just a reboot of the original Rayman, but also includes... New worlds. But apparently you need... Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually play this? Because these rings appear later in the game when you complete... It. Oh yeah, you need this... These springs. And apparently you have to unlock a series of things throughout the game in order to play this. So, let's exit. These are like secret worlds, apparently. Okay. Let's do the mountains. Let's see if we can actually do the entire theme. All these uh, worlds in the Blue Mountains today. Like I said, I will, I will be streaming for a couple of hours. We have almost completed one full hour of actual gameplay. It's gone by very quickly. This guy reassembled, so you gotta be quick. Yeah, in my attempt on Twitch, 
I made it like a couple of worlds further than this, and then I stopped and decided to do it on YouTube from scratch. But I do remember getting all the cages in here, and then I think even the next two worlds, it was actually possible to, to get them all. Took me quite a few deaths in the process, though. Here, for example. Yeah, I remember struggling here because I was trying to play this in a 4x3 resolution and it cut part of the ground so I couldn't see those clouds. I was riding seconds ago. Wait, were those things available before? Yes, they were. I just didn't see them. Okay. Apparently, that's about it. And I'm playing these levels with a lot more confidence than before. Okay, second cage already. Okay, when I see things down there, it's inevitable to go for a suicidal jump of sorts. I think this will take me to the end of the stage. I'm making my way around essentially. So I'm afraid I probably missed skip things in the process. At least I got a cage. Yeah, and I, this takes me right to the exit. Let me see what's in between. If I can. And if it's worth it. No, apparently it's not even worth it. Okay, it was a much shorter sequence than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, not bad. Okay, I should ignore these guys and these bottomless pits because I remember like jumping off several times assuming or expecting some secret and all of these pits led me to death. Hold on. There's something shiny. When something shines, you see the little thing shining right next to where I am? Those are the spots that you are expected to touch in order to unlock things. That doo -doo -doo noise means that something spawned. A ring, a platform, an enemy. Something that allows you to get somewhere else and that somewhere else usually gets you Either a cage, a coin, the big present, some worthy secret, part of the completion tasks. Uh, I could destroy these things and get items sometimes. Okay. Yeah, this guy will keep pushing me. You know what? I well, I was trying not to get the checkpoint, but it will be inevitable, right? Let's keep going. Let's forget about the checkpoint. If I die, <clears throat> I would gladly take it. Oh wait, I can actually go back now. Oh, now I can. That boulder up there. Okay, you cannot destroy it, but can I, you actually get up there? I don't remember, like, being anything of importance, even though I see stuff up there that you can access. I don't know. Did they spawn anything? Yeah, we already saw all of this. Okay, let's uh, do this again. Hey, Daryl. Daryl, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm hopefully not butchering your name. With my Latino pronunciation. How's it going? How are you? See? There is stuff up there.
Oh yeah, this is where I came from. Yeah, this. Those isolated things obviously were hiding something. Another cage. One more to go. Hmm. Did I get the coin in this? No, neither the coin nor the present. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have to be like the same game, the same core game, if you want to put a name in it. But yeah, there, there's definitely probably differences in terms of most likely the Game Gear having less levels or different music or different boss order or different bosses altogether. Yeah, I do want to get the coin. I think you can get the present by the end of this stage. Yeah, if you go beyond this and you hang on this ledge you spawn something, see? but it, it, I did miss a cage oh shit yeah, maybe it's not even worth destroying these but Yeah, that, that was not interesting. That was the opposite of interesting. This is where the present is. And I don't know if there are more levels after this. Most likely not. So yeah, I did miss one cage. And I'm sure I can get them all in this one. So I definitely have to play it again. And let's do that right now. Since... We just completed one hour of gameplay. It's fine. Again, if I don't fulfill, like, the, the objective that I set to myself for today, that which is to complete the, all of the mountains area, it will be fine. Progress is progress, regardless. And basically, for the next stream, everything will be, uh, on this game, I mean, everything will be blind. There are a couple of people that I follow on YouTube and Twitch that have been doing this game, but I'm trying not to watch any of that. I don't want to like spoil myself, even though I pretty much know in general terms what I'm supposed to be expecting in this game. Like I said, that reboot of the original worlds in uh, Rayman, the original Rayman games, and some new worlds, especially those are the ones that I don't want to spoil myself with. I might have a general idea about where, in what level at least, the last cage is. Wait a minute. Oh, you, you gotta go get that in order to spawn these. Oh shit. Oh, did I miss this one before? No. Never mind. Alright, let's not take that cloud. Yeah, this is how you skip all this area, blah blah blah, okay. Yeah. Is this the level? Mm, probably is. This is where the boss chases you, right? Oh shit, dead already. 2300, sorry, um, things. I don't know how I'm gonna end up spending my money. Most, most likely I'm gonna be choosing skins and, and that's about it. Yeah, this is the one from before. I 
I just want to make sure I didn't forget something else. I know this is one of the cages I already got. Let's keep everything. And I am going for the checkpoint this time. I'm gonna be getting more health, yes. It's either this or the next stage. That this is where oh that's where the remaining cage should be at. Now this is how I spawn these clouds. What if I go this side? No, nothing. And that's it. Okay, now what? Dude, it was right there, I ignored it. I ignored the sound, that's all. Alright, not bad at all. Alright, next. This one is actually a tough area. That definitely will take me a second attempt, a second... Um, you know, a second visit. Alright, hold on guys, I, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay, I needed some stretch. I was stretching my ass. <laughs> I'm being brutally honest. Alright, the hard cock, sorry, rocks. Alright, it got dirty all of a sudden, huh? Oh shit, balls! Most likely this is for the first cage. What is all of this for? Just for that cloud? It's gonna be something else. Yeah, I'm gonna redo this part. Yeah, I ended up like getting a couple of items, but not a cage. I may spawn the enemies. On top of everything. Yeah, go all the way up, and I'll be getting health. Well, health and more things. Most likely. Oh, yeah, you cannot progress here. See, you need to unlock. I saw a light. You need to get these to work, and probably after I clear the mountains, I'll be able to play those, or, or sorry, um, activate those. What did I spawn when I got alive? life? 
Oh wait. Okay. Oh, hold on, guys. Hey, Black Death. Um, thank you for stopping by. Stay healthy too. Thank you for coming. And thanks also to the five of you watching, according to the numbers that YouTube provides. Thank you for making me company and enjoy the gameplay. Like I announced um, in uh, one of the latest videos I uploaded on um, Streets of Rage Remake, I would like to become more of a regular streamer on YouTube as well, and move some of my main series to YouTube live and do some pre-recorded stuff like a secondary project. Now that I have a good internet connection I can stream a very high quality like today for example which would allow me to stream even modern games with excellent quality without having to sacrifice any quality in the process. I think this is for the coin. Dude, I always fuck up one of those jumps. And... Well, the idea is to not become to become a full-time streamer, because I still want to do pre-recorded stuff, but... Move the main series to live streams. Now that I have good video quality, good internet, and basically I will be allowed to upload super big files. An hour, two hour long files. Oh, sorry, uh, I don't know, 4 or 5 gigabyte uh, files, and it would take me literally 10 minutes to upload, not 5 hours. Which is, as you know, one of the things that prevented me from uploading longer videos or prioritize streaming over pre-recorded stuff. So, that's why I still consider this like a test stream, because... From the last stream... The last time I streamed here on YouTube, playing this very same game, obviously, I increased the video quality. I'm testing another cable, USB cable for my microphone. A much longer cord. It would allow me to stream in a much more comfortable position. Okay, I... Well, you, you can see that I already missed one of the cages, but I know... It exists. It is there. And obviously we'll have to make me revisit this area. Hmm. Well, I have to fall from up there. Yeah. That noise is key. Like I said. It makes you return and write things that appear, grab things. I weren't there before. This is for a cage, I remember that clearly. Yes. And some extra health. The present. Yeah, uh, at first I wasn't sure if. I'll be allowed to get it, but yes. I think you need to touch this and you'll unlock the cloud. Maybe, maybe not. Not yet, hold on. Wait. What about the present? Maybe I really missed it. Or not? See, this game always makes you come back. Yeah, you keep spawning new things in the very same areas where you previously 
unlock stuff. Yeah, now you see clearly the present. However, did I unlock the cloud that allows me to get over there? Yeah, there it is. No, is that the one? No, it's not. It's a different one. But yeah, I know you make a cloud spawn. I don't remember where exactly. Cam Cox! How are you doing, dude? How's life? Oh, yeah, okay. You you needed to touch the spots. Yeah, here's the cloud in question. Okay, except for one cage. Well, I only have one. But I know I missed another one in the previous level, so yeah, I will have to return regardless. Oh shit, a life! How do I get the life? They're gonna make me return one way or another. Oh shit! Such an honor. <laughs> Wait, to touch this to touch the spot? Yeah. What an honor. For for who? For which one of us? Who has the honors? I'm about to die already. So this is how you get the life and a cage. Nah, this is unrelated to the life. Homework! That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I remember having issues with this one jump. Dude, I don't trust my jump. There it is. What did it do different? I'm gonna answer. Nothing. So all of the... All these clouds do basically take you back to the main path. Um, cleavage? Um, when I really need more money. <laughs> it will be the way to incentive people to donate. Oh, hold on. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. Oh no! No! Dead. It's fine, I'm getting lots of things. Dude, one thing away from 2500! I can't spend my money on so many skins. Again, I don't know what else is useful. Maybe lives, yeah, yeah. When I run out of them later in the game. I mean, I'm super confident that's actually gonna happen. Let's keep the tanks this time. That makes me waste a little bit of time. Hey, one hit only. Oh shit! Oh 
Obviously there was something there. Yeah, I forgot this ability. remember clearly making the same mistake the first time I played this. Alright. I know there's a cage here. It's one of the easiest to get and I spawned alive too. Miraculously. Is that the third? It was the third. So I got half of the cages. Do I have 50? Oh shit, I cannot see the statistics. Statistics. Oh shit. Oh, he still hurts me, motherfucker. Okay, what do we have here? A P. And I think it's a life, yeah. I remember this too. No, I was trolling doing the helicopter. Dude, it's not the first time I deal with the same Okay, they they are forcing me to make a, a even if a small jump. In order that to, you know, for the helicopter to fucking work. I spawn something else. Oh, did he fuck up already? Yeah, I'd rather die, seriously. I missed a life, I missed a cage, probably two. I feel terrible about myself. Like, in general. Wait a minute, where am I going? What's the right way? I'm confused. This was for a life. Lives do respawn in this game, right? Right. So technically the only thing I lost was time. See, there's no need to be jumping. Okay, this one is easy to get. So go fucking get it. Okay. So that was the fourth cage. I know where one of them is because I skipped it and missed it. I saw it. So I need to find one more. Did I get the present? Yes. The coin? Yes. Yeah, this is why I skipped earlier. I think this is the last stage of the world even. Oh, you can actually return back up. I remember that. Right? Or am I making shit up? No, I'm sure you can. No? It's not a thing? Yeah. So I got crazy then. Yeah. Time to realize. Yeah, I have to replay this. Oh no. Alright, le let's play this first. High speak. 
Mosquito shoot em up level. Basically, an excuse to play as the Mosquito more often than just one level in the uh, earlier part of this game. And also to collect some extra magician coins to unlock mini levels, mini games. And waste 45 minutes in some of those challenges. I already have some couple of good experiences with that in the earlier worlds. So imagine how it's gonna be later. Yeah, I you know the coin is either at the top here or at the top of the next section. At least I got a checkpoint. But I have to grab it now, otherwise I will it will force me to get the next checkpoint and I will miss it out. So I have to stay pretty much Oh, what is this mosquito? What was that mosquito for? I never found out. Alright, I'll stay on the left. No, stay on the left. Forget about those things. Because I know the coin will appear. Oh shit, I died! Yeah, the coin was right there, see? And then immediately the camera moved, so of course when you realize and try to go back, you can't. Because... Smart video game. I don't think the mosquito's alive. Maybe it's a uh, skin, because it, it did look like a different... Mosquito. Yep, got it. So they want it. You can't get cages or presents in this uh, level, so all you need to care about is do the level and win. Oh shit, I'm not winning. Definitely not. Is that it? Yes, it is. Nothing else? I have played a little bit of that. I, I do have it on PS3. Obviously, I want to try it out someday. Origins and Legends. I have the two games. Okay. Let's play this again. Oh, look at this. I missed this. This is where the first cage... Yeah, this is where it is. One more to go. Yeah, the problem is that I have to play through pretty much all of the levels in order to... find it. And this world, uh, you notice, took me quite a while. So it could be a little bit stressing just to, to get a single cage. The only Rayman games I don't really enjoy that much are the 3D ones. Not because they are 3D per se. I don't know, they, they, they lost the essence of what the original Rayman was. But I love Origins and Legends. I, re I really want to do full playthroughs of those eventually for you guys. In whatever series they're supposed to be featured. Yeah, this cloud. Yeah, let, let me carefully explore all of these areas. I spawn a bunch of clouds here, yes. Oh, maybe that's how you get the remaining cage? 
That would explain it. So what exactly did I spawn? When getting the life. Yeah, maybe I should forget about that cage for the time being, because probably that's where it is. And you get it by basically using all those... Besides, I got everything else. Yes. Yeah, let, let's exit. Let, let's not waste more time. Maybe I'm not gonna find it. Okay. So, uh, how many... Oh yeah, I have more than enough cages to increase my health, my base health. Remember, I was asked to free 50 more cages, oh sorry, 40 more, because initially I was asked 10. So there I go. 5 health, by default. Stops like a car. Alright, can I play something else? Oh, there are two more challenges here. I don't think I played any of these. This is for collecting electrons. Maybe I did play this one, I don't remember. And Perilous Spikes. This is a permanent ability. Yeah, let's play this one. Oh, I can't play it because... I don't have these things activated. So this is meant to be played probably when you are done with the Blue Mountains area entirely. This one, yeah, this is for... This potion is for... Flying forever. Alright, this is... Challenging area already. And I'm almost dead. I have to cut this. Alright, is it a good idea to play this right now? You know what? Let's get out. This is the last world of the Blue Mountains. So maybe it would be a good idea to go complete it. Obviously, this one is going to be the longest and hardest. I don't think I've ever uh, played further than this when I did it on Twitch a few weeks ago. Which means from now on it will be quote-unquote blind. I say quote-unquote because I know what Rayman is in general, but of course there will be some modifications, some changes, com considering that this is a reboot of the original game. Unofficial, that is. Right there. Okay, you want me to break this? That was not in the original game, actually. These hippies immediately gave you a new ability. You know, the ability to... Fly with your helicopter ability permanently. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I remember he, he wanted me to... Destroy one single boulder where the guitar was. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't remember he actually played a song in the actual game. I want to assume that's what he's playing, right? Yeah, they already changed some things here. You use uh, the propeller to cut this rope. This was supposed to be the mechanic of one single level. That was not smart on my part. Mm-mm, <clears throat> it was not. Oh no, I gotta do this thing all over. Damn. I 
I mean, this is where the guitar is, yeah. Oh, wait. They change places? Yeah, they do change places. Okay, it's not always in the same area, on the same boulder. Right, let's not fuck it up again, so we don't have to redo that annoying section. So close. I'm gonna get every single one of these things because I might unlock something by touching the spots. Wink, wink. It's fine. Oh shit, hello. Yes, I'll definitely take that. Is there something else apart from... Oh, hello. Well, maybe I'm not allowed to get the cage until... I'm... Yeah, pretty much that's the one requirement. Cut the rope, then go get the cage. So close. See, sometimes getting things that could be like useless in the theory or riskier than what's worth going. Um reward you with things, like lives, or cages, or power-ups. What's down there? Well, more things, more level. A P. Yeah, this definitely looks optional, and my dog is barking at nothing. Like most of the time. All of that just for getting a P? Yeah. Well, now I might need it. It's gotta be something else, come on. Yeah. Whew! Almost fell, but at least I got the cage. So I don't have to come back. I think now Batilla the Fairy will ask me for 80 cages in order to increase my health, my base health, again. Second checkpoint, I have. Plenty of life still. Yeah, I said that and immediately died. This the second after. Half a second after I said that I fucking die. It's fine. I'm not gonna go for the P this time. Yeah, and punching those guys is too risky. Alright. Obviously one of these things or one of these little spots will will reveal something. I'm gonna go get them all. Looks very risky to go get every just for a life. I'm not gonna go back, sorry. I like lives and everything, but no, not this time. I'd rather go for a cage. Oh, this life was definitely easier to get. You know, I'm so tempted to go under this. See if something comes up. But no. Alright. Two cages. 
think I explored everything here. Yeah, this is the level in which in the original Rayman game you are expected to cut these two ropes before you die drowned. It's taking longer than what I would like. But I'm gonna survive, yes. Gotta wait for the water to go away though. Touch the water and you die. Rayman is allergic to bats, and I see a cage. Just like in the original game, no changes. Is there something down there? Yeah, there's gotta be something. Yeah, that wouldn't be the end of the level. Probably the present. It's been very recurrent. Yeah, I see the present. It's been very recurrent that the present is hidden like at the end of certain stages. Why am I a small Rayman? Why am I a baby Rayman? What was the point of baby Rayman? Anyway. Oh yeah, this one is for making the platforms again. And now the actual platforms do look different. That's interesting. It's cool to see the mechanics, or yeah, certain mechanics from one single stage in uh, the previous, or sorry, in the in the first theme of the game, the jungle. And you never see them anymore, except in here, they come back to them. That's awesome. I was about to say, I don't care about getting drowned. But at least I got another cage. Four out of six. Okay, this one I cannot get regardless. I don't know if it is a cage or something else. Yeah, is that part of... Oh shit, okay, I died. If I start the level again, trust me, I wouldn't be annoyed in the slightest. There we go. Because I feel like I left plenty of areas unexplored. Shit. So it would be a very good opportunity to catch up. For the cage walls, I'm gonna skip it obviously this time around. Okay, here, broken bridge. Alright, nothing worth going for. Nothing at all. Music is new to me. So this is the real way to go. Not a secret one as I thought at first. Okay, most likely that's for another cage. I already got four out of the six. something to the right. Okay, th there's uh, one more secret here to, to go get. Probably the coin, I haven't gotten it. 
Nero the cat? That Nero? How's it going? It's been a while. Well, you got at least... Yeah, we have, we have at least three old viewers. I should say long-time viewers, because otherwise I would be calling you old. Literally, that's not my intention. But yeah, very long-time viewers saying hello. That's awesome. I appreciate you still guys are around. And... Pay me a little bit of a visit. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, no. You cannot go right just to get up on the platform. That was the whole point of that boulder being destroyed. Okay, we have two choices here. I know where the exit was. Calls for a life. Dude, there's gotta be something else. Okay, probably not. One last look. Yeah, it has like a similar mechanic of liquid chasing you, essentially. Yeah, I met something spawn. Oh, hold on. What if I use the platform here? No, nothing. That's the end of the scroll. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, I passed by right before he woke up. Still the fireball got me. Okay, what do we have here? Stuff. Okay. Oh, we have... The first instance of snow in the mountains. I think the next two levels will be exclusively about snow. Slippery floor. Actual snowing. I, I do want to get that, not for the item itself, even though it's useful, but for potentially something that can spawn. If I touch that one item, which is obviously a super common feature in this one game, or in Rayman. Dude, I have eight health. Okay, yes, yes, what? Well, that was thoroughly generous. Three thousand. All I can afford probably is a bunch of skins and a few extra lives. Alright, I need to stretch my ass a little bit, so... Hang on 30 seconds again. Well, we are pretty much uh, in the late part of the stream. Oh, wait a minute. We have almost completed two hours. Have been going by super fast. Hold on. Did you get the checkpoint in the first place? Oh shit! I didn't see the spikes. Don't worry, I still have five health, all things considered. I 
Aha. Oh shit. It's always worth going back because that noise not only means that I spawned an enemy, but also probably a cage back there. Okay, does it want me to go there or maybe here? A cage! Alright, one more to go. Maybe I'll be getting there before the end of this world. I haven't gotten the, the coin, surprisingly. I'm a little surprised about that. It's so tempting to go down there and explore. Hey! That was not a suicide jump. Here is the last cage. Nice. I'm done with the cages. All I need now is the coin, the magician coin, and I'm pretty much set with this world in terms of collectibles. That's awesome. It's actually a very hard world. Very long as well. And I'm pretty much getting everything. Alright, let me go back. I don't trust this game sometimes. Usually the magician coins are earlier in the um, in the world, even though probably I shouldn't take that for granted. It's fine. There's one part that actually makes me doubt. Do we have more, or is, is that it? Oh, we actually gonna fight! Mr. Rogue, was he called? Yeah, I completely forgot how this battle works. Okay, it feels like... We either skip a whole world... In this blue mountains thing or they made a couple of the levels easier because I remember like in, in the snow part there were a couple of very difficult there we go finally one hit there were a couple of very difficult um, stages and kind of long too but we barely saw any snow in in the blue mountains just one isolated level that wasn't too difficult or long Hey, Sky, dude, you are unfortunately making it to the last part of the stream. But as I always say, you can always watch the recording later. I'll be posting this uh, on uh, channel the third, and it will be up tomorrow. Shit. In case you want to watch from the beginning. I'm gonna repeat myself for like the third time today with this information, but it's for any newcomer actually. That well, as you know, we got I got much better internet, and now I'm actually streaming at, at a much higher quality than last time I did Rayman. This game right here, and it's been a perfect stream, zero drop frames, streaming at. 4500 kilobytes per second, 60 frames per second too. So it's been another super successful test stream. No problem. Um, any visit, no matter how short it is. Oh, this is new. Not, not just the rings, it's the fact that I have to fight this guy with... in a smaller version. It is easier to hurt, but it's easy to hurt, get myself hurt as well. I have to start from the beginning now. Yeah, that, that's definitely making it challenging. Well, at first I was actually doubtful. So the first half is just... 
this. There. So tomorrow I will be doing a test stream on Twitch with the same settings. See if it works out, works out fine. This on YouTube, I can do just fine, no problem. Charlie the Duck, dude, sounds familiar. It does sound familiar to me. I mean, if I heard about it, it must have been like either earlier this year or last year, but it wasn't too long ago. Dude, that was corner. What could have done? Okay, one more hit and I should be fighting the smaller version of... Was it Mr. Stone? Yeah, but why did he say Mr. Rock? It's Mr. Stone. Yeah, that was another hit that he could have avoided. Does he follow me? Whatever the case, it, it, it might seem easier. Just hit him at the proper time. Wait for the single jump. Grab the ring. Hit the boulder. Voila! It's kind of jumping faster a little bit. Top stone! Okay. I want to imagine that now that I am done with this uh, theme, I should be... Um, why does it look pink here and the other ones look yellow? Hmm, curious about that. Yeah, now we got Picture City, which... Uh, oh, we have a new one, Tempest Terror. That's weird, we already like defeated the boss and then we unlock a new world in with the same theme. Not gonna play it today though. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is play one more challenge. If we can. So, we haven't revealed or we haven't unlocked the. Okay, these are the only two that we have available right now. This one we cannot play. Uh, let me take a look. Maybe. No, the springs are not available yet. Alright. And I'm gonna play a little bit of the next. Which is one of those long stages that use a certain ability in this case. The infinite helicopter flying ability to cut. Yeah, this is actually difficult considering that I have to combine punching, jumping, and flying. It's a little bit tough. Yeah, making the same mistakes I did the first time uh, we. Well, the only time we try this out. I'm gonna give this a couple of attempts and see what happens. Do I kill enemies with this? Yeah, I saw that coming. I mean, I took too many hits. Let's see if we can make it to the rope without taking too much damage. Dude, I keep I keep on ignoring those um, spikes down there. Dude, that was easy to avoid. Anyway. This certainly is a super long level. I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me in the, in the slightest. There. Yeah, how to drop down without taking damage.
So there's some real platforming too. Oh shit. I was rushing it. And some flying abilities. Oh sorry, some of the flying sections as well. Honestly, I don't know if getting the things is worth it. It's just a challenge, so you're not gonna be getting cages. Oh yeah, in the previous rule, I did miss the coin, the magician coin. Okay, I should wait until that guy attacks me instead of trying to punch him because I'm way too close to the bottle of spit. So it will be pretty much impossible to recover from that. Seems like. Dude, I keep taking at least two hits in that part. Well, three now. Go me. Just drop down, I guess that's a potential solution. I was hanging. Why did you drop? Yeah, I might seem like this one, I'm not gonna finish it today. I wanna get a little bit more of a feel to this stage. Okay. Yeah, do this. Take your time. Wait until those guys are defeated. Yeah, but I do want to get the speed, that's why I'm actually risking it more than I should. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of that part, kinda. Okay, here, like I said, just drop down. Yeah, I was rushing it. I almost got hit by those little enemies. Okay, here... It's hard not to get hit. Oh, I almost survived. Dude, what about some health? Well... I was giving what I was what I was asking. Okay, yeah. I see the difficulty to this. Still give you time here. A little bit of patience. Oh, that's the end! Wow, that was not that hard! She said last night. <laughs> okay, guys, that's actually a perfect way to end the stream today. Finishing a challenge... ...without a terrible effort. Let me just confirm one more information, though. Is it 80 cages? 120, yeah. I have half of those. So yeah, it will take a while before I can actually get a, a hell upgrade. Uh, yeah, next time we're gonna explore more of the Blue Mountains, which apparently is not over. There's more to it. Maybe I'm gonna be fighting Mr. Stone again, even though this should have been the last world. And I guess we're gonna start Picture City. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, I'll be uploading this... Uh, well, actually tonight and it will be published tomorrow afternoon or something like that on channel the third so for those who join later or entirely missed it whatever can watch it from beginning to end and yeah this guys has been a super successful stream zero drop frames high video quality super happy about this so thank you for watching and uh, probably tomorrow I will be on Twitch doing another test stream, but from there.
because probably conditions will be different from each of the um, pages. You never know. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.